Welcome to projectbuzzer.com Let's see secure overlay cloud storage with access control and assured deletion document preparation process In this process like a FAD implementation FAD means file access deletion process How that means this process is how to accessing a file in cloud so in normal life cloud storage some privileges is providing normally but that privileges some problem will be came in norm, in real real time work so we can providing some privilege for the for that corresponding files through this paper via so in pad network we are giving for some uh, encryption decryption via file accessing and uh, policy based accessing after policy date will be completed means um, renew process and uh, if file particular person only accessing there are so many objective we have to follow in this process now I have to explain about the flow diagram this is our flow diagram now we'll start our process cloud configuration completed a second step and uh, this form connected to database so every information retrieved from the database if cloud configuration successfully means the data share storing and the downloading process will be going successfully the downloading data successfully means if act, account activation activation one means the downloading process retrieving from data store after the activation successfully means encryption data stored in the set of keys and then process will be finished in last step now I have explained running procedure in this process initially we run it overall package this is our server form and then we run it a uh, client provider form first of all we need to log in for admin this is our login form so some user already log in in this process so, so now I am giving the port ID here sign up in this form via you have to register the client information everything is mandatory field so we need to fill it everything user asking policy wise we have to choose the upload and downloading policies and then user limitation we need to choose that means 
50 MB means file accessing privilege only 50 MB then we need to submit button give to submit button and then what is the end date mention here like this format wise only we need to mention the policy end date is getting to automatically policy store date then first of all we need to check it uh, the server is start or not if not start mean we need to start it the server submit data sending successfully receive it data successfully then we need to close it for client form store the data so on client information add an in server page now activation stage status is zero again run it cloud provider form ravi one 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 post login verification sent to the server verified successfully account login verification completed here if login successfully means this ravi client ravi client uh, going to the main panel so this is our main panel before activation uh, successfully only we can accessing a file otherwise we can't to accessing a file first of all we need to check it uh, accounts whether it is activated or not send to the client not activate till now please try it again later so we need to give the request for a server please activate my account activate it successfully activation is successfully ravi account so now will be changed for one there is client delete client detail it is not necessary for uh, our process now we have uploading the file So I need to get a verification process. Verification started. If successfully means the all the column will filled. Now we work. We click to show button and then go to cloud server form. Then click to show on table button. So every file show in. this client panel so we choose the any one file and we give the the corresponding file key values before clicking ok button we need to go to cloud server form and then click to receive key and files then click okay so this process where only valid person can accessing a file match successfully retrieve and then click send to file 
a particular person receiving a file and then click decrypt button description.txt file decrypted successfully now we can access that file so we are going to the C, C drive secure temp folder this is our corresponding encryption file and then of decryption file showing here thank you